What kingdom are you living for? What kingdom are you living for? There's someone sitting on the throne of your life. There's some kingdom, there's some vision of the good life that you are living in pursuit of. What is it? What are you living for? What defines the way you think about reality and the decisions that you make? What shapes your priorities? What captures your affections? And how's that working for you? Whatever you're living for, it can't possibly be as important and as significant and as beautiful and as fulfilling as the kingdom of God. Because you see, there's no king as gentle and as loving and as kind as Jesus. There's no king as glorious and as powerful and as worthy as Jesus. There's no king as competent and as wise and as safe as Jesus. He should be your king. And his kingdom should be the priority of your life. This is what you were made for. As we're going to see, the story of the kingdom of God goes all the way back to the beginning of time. It's what you as a human being were made to live within. Jesus Christ should be your king and his kingdom should be the priority of your life. So what would it look like for that to be true? What does it look like to have the kingdom of God as the priority of your life? 